school old scholars who took part in a cricket match that helped mark the 269th anniversary of the St. John Base Institution yesterday. Or recently, that is. Now, refer fellow first class batsman Carl Corbin and elite players Diego Stewart and Brian Johnson were all part of the winning alumni team that defeated the present students in a T20 game. The cricket match was just one aspect of Founders Week. Uh, over the past week, a number of activities were held in celebration of the history of the Lodge. And of course, sports played a major role. Well, speaking to CBC Sports about this year's events, organizer and old scholar Trevor Best said sports is indeed a priority at the school. Academics are important. Sports are just as equally as important because there's a lot of discipline that goes on through, through, um, through sports. This school has a, a very strong history of sports. Uh, we started, well not we started with, but when Mr. Fingal was here, he was one of the, the main persons to really lead us through those things and keep the discipline within the school. And one of those, during those times, they found that there, there was no athlete at any point in time that could stray. He would keep us in line. So what we want to make sure that, that the kids understand that sporting activities are very, very important and they take you very far. Well, Best noted that plans are already being laid for the 270th anniversary celebrations. We're going to take this with much further. So this is just the start of what, we, what we've got planned. Uh, we've got a lot of mentorship, mentorship programs planned because in, when I was going to school, we had a lot of old scholars coming in at least once a month to talk to us. So we had it then, it was given to us then. So what we're trying to do now is just give, give back a little bit. Five new members to the Barbados Football Association's executive have been voted in following the elections last night at their annual general meeting at the Solidarity House in Harmony Hall. The five new floor members are Adrian Donovan, Junior Alsop, Thomas Jordan, Nicole Puckrin, and Gregory Thompson. Those who lost out were Roland Butcher, Erskine Simmons, Michael Jules, Sasha Sunderland, and Sylvia Darlington. The other positions on the board were not up for re-election, so the current executive will serve until 2016. Changes were made to the statutes in the Constitution to the extent that the Executive Council will now be called the Executive Board. Station Hill Lady Cavaliers have retained their BABA knockout title after beating UWA Blackbirds in the final over the weekend at the Wildy Gym. The big two for the Lady Cavs won the Agar Belgrave and Astrid Allen were once again the difference as the champs won 58 to 46 from a 31 to 24 halftime lead. Egard Belgrave had a game-high 23 points, while Aileen scored 18. For Blackbirds, Tony Atherley also scored 23. Well, Andy Murray has finally won a tennis title in 2014. Murray, who actually hadn't won a tournament since Wimbledon last year, had to save five match points against Tommy Roberto to win the Shenzhen Open in China. The win puts Murray back into the world's top 10.